Hello, everybody. We are back today from the Coastal Seafoods Production Kitchen, and we're gonna make something real fun. One of my favorite things, kind of a fishmonger favorite snack, catfish nuggets. These are awesome. You can find these around. Um, we don't currently sell the nuggets in nugget form, but we will have them, so pay attention for that. We do have catfish, though, so you could easily just chunk the, uh, chunk up those fillets and make this with that. Very easy to do. You could do this with a lot of other fish, too, just like the uh, tilapia that we used yesterday, but this is going to be great. This is very classic, and we've done quite a few fried things recently and, like, coated things. Um, so today, I'm actually going to walk you through a more proper uh, breading setup. So we're going to actually do these kind of like chicken fry style, where we're going to actually dredge the fish in the flour, egg wash, and then a seasoned flour. There we go. Let's get my oil heating. I've got oil in this pan just enough to kind of cover the the fillets, you don't need a lot. Again, we are deep frying these, so you want the actual nuggets to be submerged, but otherwise, um, you're pretty good here. So, uh, to start, I've got flour. I've got two different containers of flour. Um, got regular, and one I'm gonna season. But before we do that, I've also got some eggs. So I'm gonna make our egg wash. Now to do this, this is where a lot of people tend to go wrong first. Uh, one of the things you want to do is let me grab a separate container is one, always crack your eggs on a flat surface. If you crack them on the side of the bowl, you run the risk of pushing shell into the egg and then you get shell in your mixture. So if you crack it on a flat surface, you'll avoid that. So again, I'm just going to hit it and then I'm going to go ahead and just pull apart there and we have one nice looking egg. So again, flat surface into a separate bowl and then into your mixing bowl. That way, if you have a bad egg, you don't ruin all the other ones that you just cracked. So again, crack, and these ones just want to split wide open. There we go, and done. So I've got my egg wash, and to that, I'm gonna add just a touch of water. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just like so. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this up. Yeah, so we get a nice kind of scrambled egg consistency here. Now this is going to help the flour stick to the fish better. So a lot of people ask, why would you coat the fish in the flour, then in the egg wash, and then in more flour? And the idea is one, we're building a crust. So we've got multiple layers. Two. The first batch of flour is going to make sure that fish is really dry and that the egg wash coats to that better. And the egg wash is going to make sure that our other flour is going to stick to that fish. So now that I've got my egg wash ready, let's go ahead and season our other flour. So this is the final flour. This is the flour that the fish is going to go in before we fry it. And I'm going to season this pretty generously with salt, just like so. And then I've also got a little bit of this Louisiana Cajun seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you like. Um, we've got the Cavender's Greek seasoning that works really well here too. Um, there's just a lot of different things that you can use. Um, any of the Paul Prudhomme mixes would work here. Um, Old Bay would work here. Again, we just want to kind of create a nice seasoning for our, for our crust. So we want these to be nice and crispy. So I've got this seasoned well. And now what I'm going to do is when you do this, the best way to do it at home if you're doing, is you keep one hand for your dry, so you dip your catfish in your flour, and then you go into the egg wash, and then with your other hand, you make sure that that fish is dredged in the egg wash, and then into the flour, which you can coat. That helps keep one working hand, otherwise you wind up with hands full of egg and flour, and it gets to be a mess. However, because these catfish nuggets are pretty small, I can just use a tongs here and not get my hands dirty at all, which I am going to do today. Um, you can do kind of however you want, whatever works for you. I'm going to remove the fork from my egg mixture so it's out of the way. And I'm just going to start dredging these. So fish into the flour, and we can do a few of these at a time if we want. 
It also helps to make fish sure that your fish has been patted dry ahead of time. Again, that's going to help this first batch of flour stick. So I'm just going to go ahead and dredge this in the flour, like so. I'm going to dip it in my egg wash, make sure it's well coated, and then into my seasoned flour, like so. And again, we want to make sure this is good and well coated. And this is going to make a really nice crust on these fish, so they'll, again, they'll be nice and crisp, exactly what we want. So again, good dry there, into the egg, and then into the flour. And I've got my oil heating here, and just like anything else when we're frying, we want to come to about 350 degrees. Um, again, these nuggets are small, so by the time they're nice and golden brown on the outside, they're going to be cooked through, so you don't really need to worry uh, about internal temp too much. If you were doing whole fillets and they were thicker, then maybe you'd want to make sure um, uh, you might need to, and probably not, but you might need to fry at a slightly lower temperature if that's the case. Again, if you're doing something really thick that's going to take a while to cook through, you do it at a little bit of a lower temperature so that the crust doesn't brown too fast before the inside cooks. So again, I've got kind of a nice start here, just bread these catfish, plain flour, egg wash, and then our seasoned flour. And we're about ready to go ahead and get into the fry oil. So I'm going to take one of these little pieces first, I'm just going to test. The oil's still got a little bit to go on there, so I'm going to let that kind of just come up to heat a bit more. And get going, see if we've got some questions here. Happy Tuesday! Thanks for tuning in, as always. Again, we're having fun doing some catfish nuggets. This is such a fun recipe to do, um, and really delicious. Just a nice, easy, you can do this as a nice little snack. You could do this as a dinner, just put out like a nice family-style platter of catfish nuggets with whatever kind of garnishes and condiments you want to serve with. Again, there's so many different things you can kind of do here, and it's fun. And again, this would work with any kind of fish. Um, some of you are aware I did a cookbook uh, a few years ago, which is available online if you want. Um, but in that book I have, uh, I think I did northern nuggets using uh, northern pike, which is a local freshwater fish. Um, that works great for this, especially since that's a fish that a lot of people have a hard time cleaning because of the bones. Well, you can chunk it out, make sure you got all the bones out in nice little pieces, and use them for a recipe very, very similar to this. So again, very easy to do, very delicious, and you can season these breadcrumbs kind of any way, or the flour sort of any way you want. You can also mix in some breadcrumbs with this as well, get a little added crunch. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, looks like we're doing pretty good. I need my spoon so I can retrieve my catfish from the oil. So I'm going to grab this real quick. Sorry for jumping off screen there for a minute. And we're starting to fry. So that temperature is about getting very near where we want it to be, which is perfect. So again, this is a little bit different. We did the shore lunch the other day, um, which was kind of similar. Dredged that in milk and then the shore lunch mix and then into our oil and pan fried it. This is not dissimilar. We're just going the full step. And this way we have kind of control over the flavor of our um, flour mix. So again, I've added to this salt and some of the Louisiana seasoning. Now I will say if you're using a pre-seasoned mix, one thing you want to make sure is you want to check the salt content on that because if you have one that's really salty or has a lot of salt in it, you may not want to add much salt to the flour in addition to. So you gotta kind of be careful and make sure you're balanced so you don't get something that's just overly salty. All right, so we're frying up good here, so I'm gonna add my other fish and get this all frying here. It's all about the fried cook action. Look at that. And these are gonna be beautiful. Now remember, again, when frying anything, you want to make sure that whatever you're frying in, if you're using like a smaller skillet or something, you can do that, but do not fill that pan more than halfway with oil. Um, if you do that, what's gonna happen is your oil's gonna bubble and start to go, and it can overflow, and then that's how you start kitchen fires. Please do not start kitchen fires. That is not what we're aiming to do. Frying is easy, it's not scary. I encourage people to do it at home but just take a few little safety precautions. Again, like that. Don't overfill your pan. Just use enough oil to cover whatever it is you're frying. 
and you'll be fine. Again, very delicious. These catfish nuggets are just fun and awesome. Got a little piece of the, the paper stuck to it still, so get rid of that, because that's not good, even when fried. Go ahead, toss this all together. And thanks everybody who's been paying along and watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, I post all these videos to our YouTube channel as soon as we're done. Uh, I'm trying to get more of these recipes actually up on the website. So we've been very busy around here, so it's hard to find time to do that. But at some point, they'll all be up there. So you'll be able to have access to all of that, which is great and fine. We're frying up really nicely here. You can see it's developing a very nice crust on the outside. So basically, we're, we're just we're chicken frying these, for lack of better terms. So again, we get that nice crispy coating. It's gonna turn nice and golden brown and be totally beautiful. So again, I'm just gonna coat up some of the rest of the fish here. Got a few nuggets left. And we're gonna have us a nice little platter, which I've got all prepared already. Remember, anytime you're taking something out of the fryer, you want to either set it onto a drying rack so that the oil can drip away or onto a plate uh, lined with paper towels. So I've got my plate all ready. More questions? Yeah. Remember, feel free, you know, hit that share button, let your friends know we're live. You know friends who definitely want more help and, you know, know how to cook seafood a little bit better. Um, let them know that we're doing this. The more the merrier. We always love having people tune in, seeing all the shares that we get, it's super fun. Um, we just have a good time with this, so. We're gonna keep keeping on, which is exactly what y'all should do. Keep staying safe, stay inside, cook more. This is a great time to learn how to cook, and we're trying to help accommodate that maybe a little bit. Plus, just have some fun. If you have cooking questions, Toss those at me. I'm happy to try to answer those to the best of my ability. Um, again, now is a great time to be cooking. There's no reason to not have some fun in your kitchen. If you're at home and you got the time, it's on. Again, so we're, we're starting to turn nice and golden brown. You can kind of see here, I'm gonna give this like a few more minutes. So I'll kind of show you what we're looking at. You can see it's starting to get nice and crisp. Got that beautiful crusty batter or crust on there, which is exactly what we want. This is coming out very, very, very nicely. Again, this is such an easy thing to make. I cannot recommend doing this enough at home. And I know people have a hard time with frying. Everybody's got questions and like afraid to do it, but it's not that hard. Um, again, just be very careful. Don't overfill your pot. Just enough oil to cover what you're cooking. No more than halfway. Use a high heat oil too. Do not be using olive oil for this. Olive oil is not meant for frying. Uh, you will burn the oil. It will make the food taste bad. Just don't do it. Vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil, those all work well for frying. So those are what you should be looking to use. All right. So we are almost there on the first few. Yes. It smells awesome. Just the smell of the fried catfish is amazing. And this is a great like southern classic recipe. Uh, you could serve this with any of your favorite remoulade sauces, tartar sauces, any your hot sauce. Just hot sauce and lemon on these is great. Uh, just so many different ways you can go. And I highly recommend that you do it. Uh, if you wanted to, a couple weeks ago we did catfish po' boys. You could fry your catfish like this for your po' boys. You could do like a catfish nugget po' boy. That would be excellent. Definitely a good way to go. Um, so yeah, you can take a lot of creative liberties here. And I recommend that you do. Um, again, it's, it's super fun. Frying foods is great. You know what you can also do is you fry them like this. And maybe I should have done this if I was thinking a bit ahead. I don't have any butter with me right now. Otherwise, I could maybe do it. But you take your nuggets, you fry them just like this, set them to the side, and then you melt some butter with whatever your favorite hot sauce is. You know, traditionally it's done with frames. And you make a buffalo sauce, and then you go ahead and toss the nuggets in the buffalo sauce, 
And then you can have buffalo catfish nuggets, which, how would you not want that? Um, super good. Um, really, really delicious. It's like, you have a question here? Let's see if I can make this happen, because I can't see it all. Nice. Uh, we are still doing the senior discount. It is offered online. Um, you have to use discount code SENIORVET. Um, and online, it's actually offered every day. So in store, we only do on Tuesdays, as most of you know, today is Tuesday. And it's one of our busiest days of the week by far. Um, all right, let's see how we're doing here. Looking pretty good. So we'll move some of these from the pan. Um, the senior discount day is every Tuesday. 20% uh, off for seniors and vets. And then uh, online, again, if you use discount code senior vet, you will get that 20% discount and that's every day. And we're doing it online every day as a way to encourage people to, you know, stay at home as much as possible um, while still having access to, you know, good food. We want to encourage that kind of distance uh, ordering and things like that just for people to be safe. So again, we've extended that offer online for every day. I know some people have been confused. They want to come into the store and get it every day. But the reason it exists online is to try to encourage you to use the online ordering systems. That is important right now. I know it's difficult. I've helped quite a few people. I've walked them through online um, for people who've had a hard time figuring it out, maybe not super familiar with the internet. So we're trying to do the best that we can on that front. Um, and it's just, again, we want to encourage people to take advantage of that online ordering system. It's kind of for the safe and well, safety and well-being of both our team and our customers. We just want to make sure we're doing everything I, we can to make people, make sure people stay safe. So that's why that's a thing. It's been, again, we've had a lot of questions on it. So I just want to make sure that people understand why we're doing things that way. Oh, this is looking so, so good. Beautiful. So hopefully that answers that question in terms of the senior discounts. Um, again, we are working hard to make sure that all those online orders are being taken care of, and uh, we're making sure that people are getting their orders as safely as possible. Um, but it's been great. The support has been huge. We, always appreciate and love our customers they are like no other customers extremely supportive and understanding and everybody's just been super cool about everything and we really appreciate that again we know that these are kind of confusing times right now and it can be hard and difficult so we're trying to make sure that we can still offer the same quality of things that we always have while making sure that you know, our seniors, the people who really do rely on those discounts, can get those still, um, while also staying safe. Um, so if you have problems ordering online, I can try to help you, you can try to contact me through Facebook, and I will do my best to try to walk you through. I can't guarantee that you can. There's also a helpline that you can call that's on the website um, for the company that does it, Mercado, and they can also try to help you through it as best as possible. Because again, we do understand right now, there are a lot of people who, it's hard for them to use the internet, or maybe access isn't super great. So we want to, again, make sure that people can do that stuff um, and have access to that while staying as safe as possible. So these are coming out very, very nicely. I'm gonna kind of space them out a little bit. And just like anything, when it comes out of the fryer, I know we've already seasoned these a little bit, but they're always gonna need a little bit more salt. Um, we just fried these in hot fat, um, and fat means more salt, so always keep that in mind. Just a little bit, and season to taste. So while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and cut up a lemon, which I need my knife for. Got my lemon here. Go ahead and slice into wedges. Like so. Now if you have particularly seedy lemons, like we always do, one of the things I do is I just snip the edges off. The seeds usually reside kind of in the middle of the lemon, 
So if you cut off that edge there, you usually get rid of them. So just like that. And then if you see one that's a little deeper, you can sort of pick it out like so. Very easy to do. Perfect. And that one doesn't have any lettuce seeds, so we're good. And scoop this out. And do one more time here with these. You could garnish these with fresh herbs if you wanted to. Uh, I don't know if some of you have noticed yet, but we do offer fresh herbs available online. Uh, we've got a variety of different things up there, all sold by uh, the ounce or by the bunch. So if you're looking for fresh herbs, we do have them. And they are very nice. So worth checking out. All right, lemon sliced. Fish is nearly done. Sometimes you gotta flip them over just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Let it get nice and dark here. Oh, looks like maybe we're running out of steam on the, on the fire. All right, so these are good and dry. I've dusted them off already. So now let's go ahead and plate up. So I've got just a little platter here and I've got a little container of tartar sauce. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to go ahead and just sort of stack these nicely onto my platter. All these, oh, it smells so good. So, so good. And then I've got a nice little portion of catfish nuggets. Again, this is a great snack, great lunch, great dinner, kind of anytime sort of deal for these. Super good. You hit them again, a little Tabasco. Just for a little added heat if you're so inclined. But we have here. Uh oh. I made a mess. Like I like to do. And wipe it down. Perfect. And you could garnish this with some fresh herbs, parsley, cilantro, kind of whatever you like. But look at it. Nice and golden brown. Got our tartar sauce, we got our lemon wedges. Oh, does that not look delicious? And so easy, again, catfish nuggets. So easy to make, comes together super fast. These are delicious. You can just get the catfish fillets and cut them into nugget shapes. Toss them in your flour, egg wash, and then seasoned flour and fry. Goes very, very quick, very, very nice. And then we're starting to look pretty good on the rest of these. So go ahead and start pulling them out here. Fantastic. Put that over. Last two little ones. And perfect. We're all done there. So go ahead and with a little bit more salt. If you wanted to as well, you could garnish off with a little bit more of whatever seasoning that you used right on top. And we have beautiful nuggets. I would go so far as to say these are Baby Yoda approved. So perfect. Catfish nuggets. Definitely make these if you take, if you do, again, take pictures, send them to us. We want to see what you're doing. We love all those photos that we get shared with. We get a lot of tags on Instagram. So definitely share away. We got a lot of cool features going on this week, so definitely pay attention to those. We'll be talking more about that as it comes up, as we always do. Again, look forward to the giveaway tomorrow. That'll be a thing. So lots of cool stuff. We'll also be back tomorrow with a new recipe. Uh, I've got some ideas for that, so stay tuned. Otherwise, again, stay safe, have fun, and we will talk to you all tomorrow.